I know we're supposed to go to the Netherlands, but I want to check out Antarctica. In case you didn't realize it, you're looking a little green. It's the turbulence. There's a baggie right there if you need it. I don't know about this place. Me neither. I think we may have taken a wrong turn. No way. Antarctica is amazing. We obviously have to be here. We've been to every other continent, right? 98% of Antarctica is covered by ice, averaging a little more than a mile thick. I'd say that's safe enough to skate on. More than 40 research stations can be found on the continent. Scientists can study global warming trends by monitoring the ice sheet. Mm -hmm. The climate is so harsh here that only a few insects, mosses, and lichens can survive. Some lichens may be up to 2,000 years old. They must be liking it here. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Antarctica is a fragile and unspoiled continent. There are fears that development here will ruin all that. The Trans-Antarctic Mountains divide East and West Antarctica. This is cool, learning about Antarctica. More than 40 research stations can be found on the continent. Scientists can study global warming... Okay, it has nothing to do with the mystery, so let's We're go to We're flying into the capital city of Amsterdam, right? And then driving out to the country. You know, I've always wondered, what's with all the windmills in the Netherlands countryside? Didn't you know? They were mostly used for pumping out water from the Palders, the land the Dutch reclaimed from the sea. Half of the land is actually below sea level. The Netherlands, land of tulips and windmills, huh? Well, supposedly, Dutch tulip growers produce over 2,000 varieties. But why would anyone want so many tulips? Well, I have a question for you. What does Carmen want with some ink and knotted strings? Could it be a clue as to what she's up to? Could be, could be, and what is this? A red rose. Let me guess whose favorite color is red. But the question is, did Carmen leave this for us? Or for someone from Vile. Either way, we should find out where Quechuas live. I guess that will be our next stop. But what else is here? Dairy farming is so important to this country. I wonder if anyone ever tells those cows what a good job they do. Two-fifths of the Netherlands was once covered by sea, lakes, or swamps. And you complain about your cereal getting soggy. Oh, now they have my flashlight. Now to scan the interior with my electron illuminator. Please, just call it a flashlight. What do we have here? A bottle of milk? A note. Acme agents are fair game for Carmen? Ah, the first letters of each word are colored. This has got to be a note from Carmen San Diego to one of her vile cronies. But I'll bet there's more to this message than meets the eye. Maybe the database can help with some of the clues. Hawkins, I think you're starting to understand Carmen's style. Yep, so A-A-A-F-G-F-C. Those sound like musical notes. Definitely, and the door's marked with the national colors of the country, but don't go to the door without, without this device. Well, we don't have that device, so we can't open the door. So, where were we going... I already forgot. Let's look at the clues. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's call the chief. Need some help, agents? That medallion may prove to be useful. Check the database for where pan pipes come from. Oh, no, we 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 are we we already did that, chief. Don't worry. Don't don't worry. We're 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 fantastic. Okay. Okay. So the catch who was. Peru. That's where we're going. Peru. Aha. This is actually great airline coffee. A first for me. The flight attendant said it was Peruvian. Apparently, it's Peru's largest export. Well, they can export it to my house anytime. Well, we're back. I miss this place. Me too. I'm always inspired by both the people and the scenery. Well, since the quipus are the way the ancient Incas kept records, and Machu Picchu over there is an old Incan city, it seems like we better scour this village for clues. Well, we already did that. We'll need something and to play the, the tune on 
door. The tune to play, and a hint as to how to play the tune. We'll need to keep looking around. So we have the hint as how to play the tune. Okay, 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 okay. Well, you know what? We haven't been to Egypt yet. Let's go back to Egypt. What does your I cat mean, do while you're jetting around Egypt. the world on a case? Same thing as always. Sleeps, eats, and all the rest. I have a friend who takes care of him. Oh, well. We tried. Yep. Now let's try another location. Egypt is clearly the wrong place to go. But wow, look at it. It looks pretty awesome. Cairo, the capital of Egypt, is the largest city in Africa. A very modern city in contrast to some of the oldest monuments in the world. The Great Pyramid here at Giza was built to honor the Pharaoh Khufu. Then the Great Sphinx was built during his son's reign. Who was this Pharaoh Khufu that he raided all these big monuments? There's got to be some reason you carry that database around. Check it out. Marhaban. The Nile River Valley is home to 99% of Egypt's people and so important in Egyptian history. Fascinating, aren't they? Hieroglyphics are the ancient Egyptian form of picture writing. Not the easiest thing to translate, even for me. Sometimes they're meant to be read left to right, and other times right to left. Carmen had some degree or other in the study of hieroglyphics. That seems like a puzzle for later on in the game, doesn't it? 100% does. Need some help, agents? That medallion may prove to be useful. Check the database for where pan pipes come from. I already checked the database for pan pipes, and that sent me to Peru. It, it could be possible there is something I totally missed in Peru. When I first started at Acme, I thought I'd be flying around in top-secret jets. Me too! Maybe someday they'll invent an instant flyer pocket jet for this vest. I'm starting to feel like a native here. Great! Let's get to work. Alrighty, so let's see. Is there something I'm The Peruvians here? use... This wall is built on an old Incan foundation. The Incas were expert architects. The stones fit so closely... I guess I can examine every door. Wait, what's this? Is this something here on the left-hand side of the door? No, it's not. <laughs> That's just me confusing myself. We'll need something to play the tune on. We the tune to, to play this door. and oh, a hint no. as to how to play Carmen the tune. San Diego has we'll me need so to keep confused. looking around. It's the design again. Oh, here yeah. we go. And that slot's now the that same the size as the medallion. I can open this. Yes, I that's wonder. what I have to do. We're doing it. You were right. This box is a vile M4C security exchange system. Kind of outdated, but does the job. These panpipes must have been left by Carmen San Diego. I think you're right. I seem to remember something about panpipes at that music store in Rome. Could these be a clue as to how to find the stolen kipus? We'll put them in our digital clue storage device before one of our accomplices gets here. Excellent. Do I actually need to pick it up or no? Okay, the lock is sound not. activated, so we need to use the clues to figure out what tune to play. We can always reset if we make a mistake. Sounds good. So we need to play it backwards, so C, F, G. C, F, G, F, A, A, A. We solved the puzzle. The Kipus! We did it again! The ancient Incan system for keeping records. Each knot or color had a significance, representing a number or object. The museum will be glad to have them back. But do you see what I see? I see that Carmen Sandiego's stealing all this stuff, and we keep finding it. Yes, but look at the metal device that all the kipus are attached to. Wait, let me guess. There's a gem missing from the center. Carmen Sandiego's not really after the items. She's a jewel thief. I can't wait to tell the chief what I've discovered. Congratulations, agents. You found the kipus. Any luck in tracking down the missing gem? Not yet, but I have figured out that the book, the carving, and the kipu holder may all be missing a jewel. Not to mention the fact that the same symbol has appeared on each one. You think this has got something to do with Carmen Sandiego's reason for stealing these things? 
interesting, Jules, but you don't have enough evidence yet. No, but my intuition tells me we may soon. That symbol seems linked to the legend of an explorer, a great treasure, and a lost city. Sounds like just the kind of thing Carmen can't resist. Well, this may be something else she can't resist. I'm just getting word from Tokyo of the theft of a rare musical instrument, a moko. It's a gong, shaped like a fish with、oh、the、no. head of a dragon. She may. Oh no, Carmen! She may be watching your every move. Surprise, Chief! It's just too easy to intercept Acme transmissions. Well, Jules, you and Gadget Man have done pretty well, considering. I'll have you going in circles this time. I can't wait. See you soon. Ah! I hate it when she does that. We have got to upgrade our software. Going in circles, huh? I'll show her. Calm down, Hawkins. You'll overheat your transistors. Chief, can you track that transmission? I'm already on it. She called from a plaza near the Chateau Frontenac in Quebec. Get your tickets and get going. We must stop Carmen San Diego. So we're done with mission three. Mission complete.